Welcome everyone to another Khan Academy tutorial. We are doing linear equations with unknown coefficients. Uh, so we're asked to solve for x here. We have 19x plus rx equals negative 37x plus w. Uh, uh, essentially what we're doing here is we are asked to solve for x. This is a literal equation. This should really be renamed literal equations. And um, we are just solving for x. So we're going to have x in terms of some other variables. As you can see, we have three variables here, but we can still get the x by itself. Now, we see that we have an x on the left side, two of them, actually, and we have one x on the right side. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get our x's together. So we're going to add 37x. That's the opposite opera operation of subtract 37x. And what do we get? We get 56x plus rx equals w. So we have x almost by itself. Now we have it on one side of the equal sign, but we have it in two terms. So what do we do here? Well, the distributive property allows us, if we have a number out in front, a distributive property allows us to expand into two terms. Say so we'd have 2x plus 4. That's supposed to be a 2. 2x plus 4. So if we want to go in reverse, we can, and it is called factoring. So we can factor this by taking out a term that's among both of those terms, a factor that's among both those terms. Okay, so factoring is going in reverse. So we need to go in reverse here. Well, what's in common between both these terms? Well, we still have an x and an x. So we can factor that term out and what's left inside. We have 56 plus r. If you wanna check your answer, you can distribute, okay? And you should get what we have above here. And you do x times 56 is 56x, and then x times r is rx. So that's appropriately factored. So we know we did that correctly, so we can proceed from there. So that equals w. All right, now, it's still not by itself, and that's the x we're talking about. It's still not by itself, so we have to divide both sides by 56 plus r, and we're doing that to both sides, 56 plus r, okay? Now, what happens? Well, on the left side, it's going to cancel, okay? 56 plus r divided by itself is just going to be 1. 1 times x just gives us x. And that is going to be equal to w over 56 plus r. There's no like terms there, so that's going to be our final answer. w over 56 plus r. So w, you, you hold it down to get the w, and then you go 56 plus and then r, and check it. All right, there we go. You can see it. I added raw for the first time in case you're wondering why is that why is that question great? I added 50 I got 58 instead of 56. It was just a bonehead move. Anyway, moving on. We all make mistakes, I suppose. So solve for Z. So we're asked to solve for Z here. Very similar process. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna distribute first. This is my first time seeing this problem. I have Z here, Z here, but it's in the parentheses. I don't like that, so I'm gonna distribute first. So I get negative 4w, and then I get plus w, and I'm going to write the z in blue because that's my focus. And then I get equals, and then mz, m, and then we have z. Okay, so I have z on the left, I have z on the right, I need to get them together. So what I'm going to do is I might as well just, uh, I'm going to move the, the z, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to move it over to the left side, the right side, I suppose. So I'm going to subtract wc from both sides to get it over onto the right side. So I get negative 4w equals, and then I have m, and then I have minus w, and then plus 17. Okay, and now I need to write my z's in there so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we should be on the same page. We just subtracted wz from both sides. Everything else stayed the same. So now what am I going to do? Well, I am going to subtract 17 from both sides. I don't want this guy over here. Let me do that in red. Subtract 17, subtract 17. Okay, so now I have negative 4w minus 17 equals mz minus wz. Okay, now this is just like the other one. We need to factor out something here. We have a z among both terms, so it's a factor of both. We're going to factor out the z. So we have m minus w. Okay, and that equals, I don't know why I'm going back and forth between purple and red. <laughs> Whatever. You guys just pick one color, whatever helps you, okay? So now I have negative 4w, and I'm going to rewrite it up here. 
because I want to show you the steps more properly equals. And that's another thing in math. Make sure you use up as much paper as possible. Not overdo it, but it's better to use up more space than not. Now, to get the z by itself, I need to divide by m minus w to both sides. m minus w to both sides. It cancels, and we're left with z equals, it looks like another fraction, 4w minus 17. That's a 17 over m minus w. So I need a fraction here. Fraction. Uh, was it 4w? Negative 4w minus 17 over, what was it? m minus w. m minus, and then I go hold it down to get the w, check it. All right, there we go. Got that one. How about that? Assume the equation has a solution for x. We're trying to solve for x here. This one is going to be a little bit more simple. I'm going to go all one color, okay? All one color here. I need to add 8x eight, eight to both sides. I get negative px plus 8x plus r equals negative 2. I subtract r from both sides. I get negative px plus 8x equals negative 2 minus r. I'm kind of glad this situation has happened so many times because we can see clearly how to factor. Okay, so I know there's an x in both terms. I factor out the x and what's left inside. I get negative p plus 8. I like this better. I'm going to write this as x times 8 minus p. You can rewrite that because the signs stay the same. And then I have negative 2 minus r. So the last step is divide. Okay, divide 8 minus p. And then that cancels out. And I'm left with x equals negative 2 minus r over 8 minus p. And that's my final answer. So I need to put that in, negative 2 minus r, fraction, negative 2 minus r over, was that 8 minus p, 8 minus p. And I don't need to put that in parentheses because uh, it's in the bottom. All right, I think I'm going to cut it off there. The other ones is just more of the same. You're going to have to distribute first. I might as well do it real fast. So I'm going to distribute. I get 5a minus ax equals bx minus 8. Distribute first. Now I'm going to add ax to both sides. I get 5a. And at the same time, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a combo step here. I'm going to add 8 to both sides because that will cancel out this. And they'll cancel out this. So what do I have left? I have 5a plus 8 equals ax plus bx. I can factor out the x here. That's my goal because I'm trying to solve for x. I can factor him out. And I have 5a. Whoops. Dang it, I want that purple. 5a plus 8 equals x times a plus b. I divide by a plus b to both sides. Boom. I divide by a plus b to both sides, and this is going to be my final answer. 5a plus 8 over a plus b. So I have 5a plus 8 divided by, divided by, divided by, divided by. Why can't I click on that? Okay, hold on a second. Maybe if I click off. Back here, okay. Okay, we're really struggling here. There, I think I got it. All right, a plus b. a plus b. And we'll check it, and we're good to go. So hopefully you'll have similar success. That's a little tricky, I know. The main thing is factoring. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.